I'm Rick and uh, this is Joyrider TV. And this is Show Us Your Cat. Hello, yes, it's Rick here for Joyrider TV. And hello, yes, it's Joe here for Joyrider TV. Thanks to Rick and the guys there for that strong introduction. That was them on their way out to Vasiliki, stood on a bridge in Amsterdam. Very nice too. So yes, it's Show Us Your Cat once again on Joyrider TV, where we take a look at your boats and where it is that you sail them around the world. Coming to you from Vasiliki on the island of Lefkos in Greece at Wild Wind Sailing Holidays, where the main theme this week has been, yes, we're open and yes, it is hot. It's been very hot this week in Greece. I could tell you that for free. And the champagne sailing has been coming thick and fast. My main feature of the week was the onboard live video on the Tiger. If you haven't seen that yet, you should check that out just here. Nice, check that out. But um, now it's time for Show Us Your Cat. We've got a very exciting lineup this week. So I think without further ado, Show Us Your Cat. <laughs> okay, so we're starting off this week by heading to Ireland, to County Westmeath, North County Mayo, to Lacken Bay, where we have Rob, who has got a Hobie T2. This is the first T2 that we're featuring here on Show Us Your Cat on Joyrider TV. The T2 is basically like Hobie's equivalent of the Dart 16. It's a roto molded boat. It's got plenty of buoyancy and it's the benchmark boat for school sailing and safe family leisure. This is a new generation of Hobie Cat with its innovative design and it allows fun sailing with high performance sensation. The T2 is 16 feet long, like the 16. It's two meters 40 wide, like the 16, and it weighs 176 kilos and has got a sail area of 16 square meters. Here we can see Rob absolutely hooting along and uh, we can see on the T2, it's actually featuring the same cross beams as we'd have on a Pacific or a Tiger. And check out that lovely set of blocks. Mmm. So nice, in fact, that Rob has attracted some local wildlife to come along for the ride. So thanks very much, Rob, for sending us that video and picture of your T2 in Ireland. Keep up the great sailing, hoping to get you on the speed stick soon. Absolutely cooking the goose there. Absolutely cooking there on your T2. Okay, next up, we're heading to Canada, to Ontario, to Pont aux Roches, Lake St. Clair, where we have Chris, who has been undertaking a major, major restoration project of this 1982 Hobie 14. Chris, along with his brother Jeremy, sailed cats a long time ago, and last year they decided it's time to buy one. So they found this Hobie, Hobie 14 along with a trailer for $500 and they have taken on a major restoration project. This is how it looked when the boat was picked up. After extensive cleaning of the boats and fitting the new trampoline, phase two. Then an absolute major clean up of the mainsail here and then the Dolphin Striker is now fitted trapeze lines installed and tested and then the first test sail out this is the mark one edition of the 14 and then on to some major repairs some delamination repair 
the gel coat's been stripped, glass added to the bottom where it had been worn from dragging it up the beach, a lot of dings and gouges filled in. And then here's the spraying with new gel coat and then a lot of sanding with some expert sanding from Edith and Nora. And then some finishing touches like the custom stickers on there and the boat has the name Feeling Tipsy and why not? Fitting some EVA non-skid on there as well and some non-skid pad at the back for giving it the full beans and sending it. In this picture, we can see that Chris has modified the trailer with double rollers to make it very easy to get on and off and less likely to scuff that nice new paint. It's had a new mainsail built, very similar to the Evo main that we've been using here in Vasiliki. Should be very good for the high speeds. He's also put in some RBS battens that are actually stiffer than the originals, but should give a flatter sail, making the boat more efficient upwind and better in the high winds. And here's Chris with his first outing of the year with the boat completed. Not so much wind on this occasion, but Chris has got his sights set on the speed stick to see if he can be the top Hobie 14 on there. Thanks for all that, Chris. Great work there. And this is a great restoration that you've done, bringing this 14 back to life. So thanks again. Next, we're heading back to Daytona Beach, Florida, USA, where we've got our roving reporter, Jeff. And what have you got for us this week, Jeff? Thanks, Joe. I've got some magnum size fun for you this week. Last week, we saw what may be the fastest Hobie 16 in the world in Daytona Beach, Florida. 200 yards down the beach, Lou had parked this big white beauty. Here it is on the water, playing chicken with Steve's Hobie 16. So what is it? I'd like to introduce you to lose Hobie 18 Magnum. Hey Joe, what can you tell us about the Hobie 18 Magnum? The Hobie 18 was originally introduced in 1977 as the next step forwards after the 16. The 18 really became popular with sailors who are a bit too heavy to sail the 16. So over 150 kilos helm and crew puts you in the right bracket for some Hobie 18 sailing. Not to say that if you're lighter, the Hobie 18 wouldn't really whistle for you, it would. Then the Magnum version of the Hobie 18 was where these wings are added, which adds a lot of comfort and potential to the boat really great for doing some long distance cruising because you can either sit on the wings so you don't need to trapeze making your sailing experience a bit less physically demanding you can of course trapeze off the wings which really gives you a lot of leverage so you can keep the power on a lot more making the boat go a lot faster when you're really sending it you can also use the wings as a nice backrest if you sat on the hull of the boat. Hello Joe, my name's Lou Adiano. I'm from Orlando, Florida. I've been racing catamarans for about 30 years. This is my latest boat, Hobie 18 Magnum. Thank you, Joy Rider TV. A big thanks to Lou for being so accommodating when I walked up with cameras and said, hey, can I take pictures of your boat? What? Oh, sweet. 
trying to clear the people in front of them there. I've never launched a sailboat through the surf before. I was amazed at how oblivious the kids in the water were. But after a few blasts from the whistle, they eventually saw the boat headed their way and moved. If you're close to North Carolina and you'd like to go out and shoot some footage for Joyrider TV, let me know. I'm also headed back to Central Florida and I'll be on the west coast in the Tampa area and on the east coast by Cocoa Beach. So if you're close to either of those and you'd like to get together, do some sailing, maybe shoot some video for Joyrider TV, leave a comment so we can get in touch. Or shoot an email to jeff at gear-report.com. So thanks again to Jeff, roving reporter out there. And what a great selection of boats generally as well on this week's show us your cat a bit of something for everyone there very nice too so if you'd like to be featured in an upcoming episode of show us your cat all that you need to do is show us your cat if you want to be on show us your cat send in pictures or video of your boat give me some information like where it is that you sail perhaps who you go sailing with what year your boat is any interesting stories about your boat and yes I can feature you in an upcoming episode of show us your cat you heard it here first if you've already sent in pictures or video to be featured on show us your cat but you haven't yet been featured then please don't worry you will be featured very soon in one of the upcoming episodes I'm just featuring the boats in the order of which they came in so that everybody is getting featured on Show Us Your Cat. Also going on, we've of course got the speed stick. It's not just one speed stick now, we've got two speed sticks. Yes, we've got the global speed stick for any type of boat with a sail. If you're going out sailing, if you want to be added to the leaderboard, just take a GPS device with you, go out, send it, and then send me the results how fast did you go who were you sailing with where were you sailing what were you sailing and just give some evidence of that top speed like a screenshot of your gps or anything else that you could send anything else anything else that you could send as evidence will be fine and get added to the speed stick all the details if you're either wanting to send in stuff for show us your cat or for the speed stick is in the description below so just check it out there and that would be great but the speed stick is really hotting up now we've had over 100 entries to the speed stick so there will be an update video coming very soon yeah so there we go um if you're thinking that your life is lacking a bit of champagne sailing at the moment and you do have the opportunity to get down here to wild wind in Greece then um, you know what you need to do get down here and the champagne sailing will be yours while you're here we've got a very good fleet of boats we've got a reasonably picturesque location and at the moment it's quite early in the morning so there's not much wind but this wind will pick up throughout the day and then in the afternoon it will start blowing this way ready for sending it that way and then maybe even coming back the other way afterwards opportunities there thanks to everybody who's been supporting the channel whether it's been through patreon perhaps you've been to totaljoyrider.com and made a spicy purchase added to your wardrobe there or um, any other means that you've been supporting the channel then thanks very much but I think the least that you could do at this time is hit the like button and if you're not yet subscribed hit the subscribe button as well there will be more of course coming on Joyrider TV almost every day so ring the bell and you will know but thanks very much be back next week with more show us your cat on Joyrider TV show us your cat 
on Joyrider TV. Thank you.